Summer may still be in full effect, but there are some people in this city with their sights set on this place with an election coming around the corner in October. Candidates in full campaign mode. That said, there are other areas in the city where no one has stepped forward for your vote other than the people who already have a seat here at City Hall. We need to be able to focus on the hyper-local things. We want to make sure that streets are safe. We want to make sure that garbage is being picked up. Robin Buxton Potts has been working at City Hall for different councillors in different wards for a while and now wants to step into the role herself. What made you decide to do so? My intention was never to run as a full-time councillor, but when Mike Layton announced that he wasn't running, my fear suddenly became that the entire downtown core was going to have brand new councillors. Potts was appointed the role of councillor for Toronto Centre when Kristen Wong Tam was elected in the provincial election and has been criticized for stepping up as a candidate for University Rosedale soon after. Taking her on is another familiar face. Norm De Pasquale is a Catholic school board trustee and spokesperson for the No Jets TO campaign on Toronto's waterfront. Another voice to possibly fill a void on the council floor. This is what the democracy is all about. Let's all come in here and put our best vision and have a great discussion together and, and really bring people into that discussion and, and, and see where we end up. But, uh, you know, let's, let's bring people along with us as we discuss what the next step is for University of Rosedale. As of Friday afternoon, though, there were still four wards in the city that did not have anyone challenging the current councillor to become the elected representative at City Hall. Well, I think this is a warning signal about uh, the state of public interest, engagement, participation in democracy in, and political uh, um, uh, institutions. Political analysts say there are a number of factors at play, one of which was the reduction in council seats during the last election and the amount of work now involved in taking on the job. As of yesterday, more than half of the wards either had a councillor who was saying, thanks, but no thanks, I don't want to do this anymore, or uh, where nobody was interested in applying for the job. Uh, that's not healthy. Those who are applying for the job may or may not know what they're in for. And what we're seeing is a lot of people frustrated with how the city is running. Just two weeks are left for potential candidates to register to run in this election, whether it be city council or to run for mayor or school board trustee as well. Mark McAllister, City News.